Well, I mean, so telecom application developer, I think, is a new category, right, that we're trying to define. Um, uh, and the reason it's important to, I think, define the term and, uh, and kind of build um, some consciousness around it is that um, telecom has traditionally been uh, kind of a black box uh, and not really open to uh, external innovation. Um, and I think if we've learned anything from you know, mobile platforms uh, and the web is that, uh, of course, opening things up to third-party developers and allowing people to come in and, and uh, innovate and create, uh, uh, you know, bring their own ideas into that ecosystem is, uh, is really a, the recipe for success. And you know, we've not only seen it in the mobile platforms, but uh, in you know, vertical applications like Salesforce.com, um, and of course, even uh, even more specialized systems like even like Nest. I mean, even your thermostat has an API today where people can go and build apps on top of them. Um, so, um, anyways, it's kind of a no-brainer, uh, and I think we, it's just not. It's just time to do it now. Yeah. It's our they're our bread and butter. I mean, we we're a developer platform, right? So we don't exist uh, without developers. Um, you know, we started off. Um, uh, you know, Tropo actually started off. Uh, we were incubated in uh, our old parent company as an applied research group, right? So um, we're a bunch of coders ourselves, and um, you know, Tropo really started as a way of us kind of sharing uh, some of our ideas with the broader community, and um, well, we built a pretty awesome business uh, in the process. So, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, basically Tropo doesn't really develop applications themselves. Uh, we basically just act as a bridge between traditional telco um, and our developer community. Well, it was actually my idea to do it uh, in the first place. So, uh, so uh, yeah. So Alan, uh, when we did Tad Summit last year, um, you know, we had a, a wrap-up session, and he was just like, "Yeah, you know, what what could we have done differently?" And uh, you know, I came up. I was just like, "Oh, well, you know, it would have been cool to have some developers at a developer <laughs> event," because <laughs> you know, it was you know, Tad Summit was great, but um, it was basically just a bunch of telco people talking about what was wrong with the industry. Um, so we made the decision to you know. Two, two different streams, right? We would have the TAD Hack um, 2014 um, and then TAD Summit later this year where hopefully we can take some of the apps that are created today um, and help them go to market and actually make money with them. So, yeah. I think the hacking hasn't really started yet, um, but I, I, could, I could feel it. It's starting, to, it's starting to bubble back there. So I'm just really curious to see what people come up with. I mean, whether they're using Tropo platform or, some, or something else, um, uh, there's just a, it's a good energy here, and I think people are really motivated to do some cool things. Um, uh, I'd really love to see some people hack on um, uh, Geeks Without Bounds uh, apps uh, kind of on the humanitarian side because they, they have a big need for, for help. So.